Hi, I'm Robert Lamour. I'm a physicist from Germany and I'm the coordinator of the Skin Spectrum project. In the project, we work with light and sound to see whether we can detect cancer on our skin. Here we are in London, where we do the clinical studies for the project, and I will show you how this is going. Please follow me. Skinspection is a project with partners from Germany, Italy and the United Kingdom. The devices are developed in the United Kingdom and in Germany and the clinical validation of the technologies is performed in Italy and here in the UK. My name is Dr. Patale and I'm one of the dermatologists here at the hospital. Skin cancer is the commonest form of cancer in Europe. Of these, melanoma is the most deadly and it accounts for 4% of cancers. Now, one in 60 people will be affected by cancer and this preferentially affects young people. Now, currently, melanoma is diagnosed late and this means that up to 50% of people can die within five years if it's diagnosed very late. These tools that we're developing can increase the survival rate up to nearly 100% if we can diagnose it early enough. The skin has many different optical properties, such as reflection, scattering, which stops you seeing clearly through it. And it consists of a number of colours, such as melanin, black, blood, red, and the top layers of the skin, white. Currently, to diagnose melanoma, you have to cut out pieces of skin and look at them in the lab. By using these devices, we can actually look at the skin without having to cut them out. This device allows us to look at the skin at the macroscopic level using ultrasound and optoacoustics. This allows us to map out the, the lesion with, by one by one centimetre across and up to three to five millimetres deep. Now, ultrasound sends sound waves in and listens to the sound waves that return. Optoacoustics sends laser light in and listen to the sound waves that return. Now using this, we can look at the different levels of a lesion within the skin, and it also allows us to look at the blood vessel network that surround the lesion. So after doing this, we look at the same lesion at the microscopic level. This machine looks at cells at the microscopic level. Now what we're particularly interested in is looking at the cell's fluorescence. So when you focus light on a cell, they can either absorb the light, which causes heat and sound waves that can be picked up with the ultrasound and the optoacoustics, or it can emit light, causing autofluorescence. Now the cell contains a number of chemicals within it that can fluoresce. And this is what we pick up with the derma inspect. What we believe is that as a cell goes from normal to cancerous, there are changes associated with its fluorescent signature. And that's what we're trying to find out with our device. After finishing the clinical trials, we will have uh, the technology to build one machine which can be used by the general practitioner or the dermatologist to detect skin cancers in its very early stage and to decide what type of cancer it exactly is.